He told me, he said he wanted to make a movie to tell the audiences what is the true meaning of Wu Xue. In Chinese, Wu Xu means the way of combat. Countless kung fu movies have perpetuated misconceptions and stereotypes. Those films reinforce the notion that Wu Xu is about killing and vengeance, or hatred and anger. They thought of Wu Xu like I fight you, martial art. I fight you, you fight me. It's not. It's a stop that. The real goal of practicing Wu Xu is to strengthen one's body, mind, and soul. It's actually about making peace. You know, a good conflict. It is the idea that a good offense is rooted in a good defense. The better martial artist you are, you should be the better peacemaker. Violence is not the only solution. The martial art you only use the violin, use martial art, use kung fu, whatever you use the name to beat up the other. You only can beat up their body. You never change their heart. Fearless is set against the turbulent times of the early 1900s. Foreign powers dominated China's key cities. Chinese citizens, labeled by the West as "sick man of the East," faced an identity crisis. That is, all but one man. The legendary martial arts pioneer Hua Yunzhua. This is a story about a man. You know, in the beginning, he just thought being number one, being the champion of all martial arts, is all it, what life is all about. And then he made the biggest mistake in his life. character must face the consequences of his actions. In the end, his self-discovery and the choices he made inspired a nation. <laughs> Through the painful realization that the most formidable enemy lies within oneself, the martial artist strives to become a better human being. Fearless is the perfect story, you know, can tell all the jellies believe in the film. Hua Yun Jia's transformation mirrors Jet's own personal journey, a journey that took an unexpected twist. In 1997, at the top of his career, Jet Li was ready to give up everything. And then... I met some Tibetan master. He said, you can't, you can't retire. You can't just walk out. That's quite selfish. <laughs> so for you, uh, for a lot of people, it's okay, it's good. But for you, it's not. You have some responsibility in the future. But uh, I asked him, what's the responsibility? Can you tell me? He said, the responsibility, nobody can tell you. You need to figure out yourself. Jet, a Tibetan Buddhist, had studied with the Dalai Lama. Today, Jet advocates nonviolence and believes in the relentless pursuit of self-improvement. I say all, to a lot of people all the time, the biggest enemy for jelly is jelly. I need to beat up myself. I need to, you know, do better than today, better than yesterday, tomorrow, better than today. I need to prove, you know, try to fight myself. And the enemy, not from outside, not from Jackie Chan, Bruce Lee, I want to better be the, better than them, you know. You want to beat yourself. In other words, never stop improving oneself. As Jet firmly believes, you cannot choose when you were born. But you can choose how you face life. Do your best. It's good enough. <laughs>